Hi everyone, this video will be about the negative comments on the Daily Mail article. Um, I have seen, I've read some of the comments, they just make me laugh, the people, how they think they're doctors and can turn around and say, you're a liar, you've not got this, you're a liar, you've not got that, bollocks to this, I mean, oh sorry, sorry about my language. <laughs> Someone also said on there that I'm in private housing. No I'm not, I'm in council housing. Um... It is privately owned, but the ca the council rent it from from her and a la a la the la the actual original landlord is a lady, but she went to the council for the council to rent to us, and yet I get housing benefit. That does not come to me; it goes straight to the housing people. Um, people are also saying it is my mum's fault. It's not my mum's fault. My mum thinks it's her fault and she blames herself all the time. But it's not her fault. My mum never held a gun to my head and turned around and said, Bitch, go eat that food in that fridge. Bitch, go take that cheese string and just shove it in your mouth and hide the wrapper behind your bed. That was me. No, but I used to drink but she didn't want me doing. <laughs> <laughs> I do love her. <laughs> um, my mum found the rubbish, asked me what I was doing, and I used to lie to her and say, it was something I could brought home from school, something that was left over from my school lunch. And she, and she, and she used to think it was true until she found things were missing. And then, mum's own last. And then, another, another comment. Someone turned around and said that that having a having a low thyroid, you'd more likely be slim. <laughs> well, hello, I'm not put on thyroid tablets for no reason, am I? Then they said low thyroid, you're slim. Yes, they think low thyroid means underactive. That's what they're implying. Yeah, they say low thyroid, you're slim. Yeah. I've got low thyroid. Look at the size of me, bitch. <laughs> Not exactly slim, and I bought the tablets for it. Aren't I, Goldie? Oh, Thyroid tablets. Proof from the doctor. Thyroid tablets. Now call me a now call me a liar. Yeah, I I saw. Um, and some people say. Oh, you don't do exercise. Walking up and down the stairs each day is exercise. Walking to the bus stop each day, exercise. Getting up off the sofa to let the dogs out about three, four times Breathing. is oh. exercise. <laughs> Lifting your arm up and down is exercise. You don't need a gym to exercise. You don't need a bike to exercise. You do exercise on a day-to-day -day basis. And then with your feet um, oh, someone comments going cake. Mm, cake's quite tasty, but I don't eat it every day of the year. Probably birthdays and Christmas only, really. And maybe when mum wants to treat me. Well, not when mum wants to treat me. I mean, when she treats the household. You know, yeah. Which, huh? What, cake? Yeah, I don't buy cake. you don't buy cake on an often. No, exactly. If you see it reduced at a shop, and it's worth that reduced money, I always look at the fat content. Yeah, and if it's low in fat, low in fat, low in sugar, then you'll buy it. But if it's something like if it's something like a day to day basis, you won't go down and go, oh that cake's two pound, I'm going to buy that. No. It's got to be something that's like reduced, and you think, oh we haven't had cake in a while, I'll buy them. Oh, She's a pig, that woman. Sorry. Burping like that. I know. I know. That's why I'm fine. Diet. <laughs> Time to let go of the past and stick to your new re regime. Hmm. Yes, it's time to let go of the past. But when you suffer with social anxiety and you can't, can't get the words out when you're sat in front of a counsellor, how are you going to let go of your past? Because all you're going to do is boil it up because you can't speak about it. 
It's easier said than done letting go of the past, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there understand that. It's easier to get, let go of the past and get knowledge. <laughs> also, someone, someone stupidly comments, there was a picture of me as a baby, right? My mum's holding me in the picture. Someone stupidly comments saying, yeah, I'm holding her as a beast. In the story, my mum gained a lot of weight when she was pregnant with me. She went up to 19 stone. One so, so she was obese. Pretty obvious. Stately obvious much. And I did lose weight after that, June. Two years I was 19 stone. Being fat is not, not a disability. No, it's not a disability. It causes a disability. It causes a disability. But disability isn't just physical, it's also mental. Just because you can't see it, doesn't mean to say it's not there. Um, let's try to find another comment. I'm going to put the one about a monkey face, or was it? Was it not monkey face, um, honey monster. No. No, because I think I've got a honey bun to grin anyway. <laughs> oh, also, while we're at it, before this video gets too long, because it's already on 6 minutes 30, while we're at it, in the last two weeks, I've lost the stone and weight. That's not much over two weeks, but it's a lot more than I was losing before. Anyway, I'll let this go now, because it's rather a long video. So, haters going to hate... Hate in the comments. It just got deleted. Bye-bye.